what's up everybody my name is combat man and welcome back to another mk11 video and today what i thought for you guys is no not another gameplay video or not another link video or anything that has to do with game con or dc fandom or anything like that i just have um a wish list for combat pack 2 and combat pack 3 and since those are not out yet, I just decided that now I wanted to do a wish list for it. Um, and for those of y'all who don't know what I'm talking about, um, so what I mean by a wish list is for people that I want to be in Combat Pack 2 and 3 in MK11. And I know you've seen other past YouTubers do this before, and I know you've seen me do a wish list for Combat Pack 1 before, or maybe not, maybe for the roster. This is a video similar to that, okay? So, um, if you guys think that these people that I'm about to address, if you think you want them for coming back two or three, or both, well, it can't be both, but I mean, if you want these characters for coming back two and three, or either of them, and you think my decisions and my predictions or my um, picks, are okay or good then please make sure you drop a like and please make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got a ton of more content coming your way in this channel because in the future this channel is going to get hyped on the road to 800 subs i'm trying to climb to a thousand so if you leave a like and subscribe that would be amazing and enough talk but um yeah so moving on to combat pack two and combat pack three wish list. So if I were Ed Boon and if I were to decide to put six characters in combat pack two, let's start with combat pack two. Who would it be? Well, first off, I would want my two boys, Cyrex and Sector. And the reason why is because I like those two a lot in MK9. They were like true dynamite brothers and their gameplay was really sick in MKX. I know most of y'all would agree with that. And then another character I would want would be Smoke as well. Either Triborg or Human, I don't care. I'd take either because Smoke is also one of my favorite characters in MK Universe, and he was a really great character to play in MK9 and X. And then another character I'd want would be Havoc. And the reason why I'm saying Havoc is because I never, ever, ever, ever got to play with Havoc in MK ever, like at all. Never got to play with Havoc at all in MK. From MK1 up to the last MK game he was in. And then um, fifth character, I'd want my boy Takeda. I'd want him to be back because out of all the combat kids, I find him to be my favorite. He was the most entertaining for me. I loved his lightsabers in MKX and his Ronin variation. And I believe his moves, his moveset was really good. All the um, tactics and all the uh, moves that he has, they are really good. And for a guest character, um, I wouldn't really say I want Harley because Harley um, let's be for real, Cassie already has a skin for her, but if they were to put Harley, I don't see why not. Harley would rock it. She'd be good. And if they don't put Harley, then I'd want Deathstroke. Because Deathstroke, I believe, like other YouTubers have mentioned, he has good potential in MK11. He literally has the name Death in his name. He literally has Death in his name. So I believe either Harley or Deathstroke would be a good guest character for Combat Pack 2. And now, moving on to Combat Pack 3. Combat Pack 3. Um, let's see, who would I want if I were Ed Boon for Combat Pack 3? Well, um, let's go with Ermac. I'd want Ermac because Ermac was really awesome in MK9 and MKX. He had a really great crimson skin. I loved his gameplay so much, and I really did enjoy playing with him a lot. Then, who I'd want next 
to be income effect three would be um, Rain, because Rain, he is an amazing character too. Um, I really wanted to play with him so badly in MKX, but then for some reason, Netherrealm just turned on us and made him become an NPC, which I thought was not cool, but we have to live with it. I thought if Rain would be a good character in MK11, I'd really um, like to try him out and see how he is, because like Havoc, never got to play with Rain ever in MK, any MK game, let's be for real. And then, number three, I know most of y'all would definitely like this character to be back. Believe me, I'd want this character back too. And I made a recent video, I made a previous video about this character coming to MK11. Ed Boon has also tweeted, and that person is none other than Melina. Um, so Melina, um, there's a million of reasons why people would want her back. She's a fan favorite. She played a really great role in MKX. <laughs> She's the daughter of Shao Kahn. True daughter, really. And she has a funny and, well, deadly personality, obviously. I'd want her back for, because um, I had fun playing with her in MKX. She was really good. I liked her ravenous variation. And I believe she can do more in MK11 if Kronika were to bring her back to life. Because as of now, Molina is currently dead. But Kronika could bring Molina back. I don't really see her doing that. But um, just a suggestion. Molina could be brought back to life for that matter. But yeah, it would be really good if Ed Boon brought back Molina into MK11. Then, number four, um, I don't really see him coming back, really, but he is one of my favorite characters, so I will say I would like to see Stryker back in MK11 as well. Um, we already have Cassie, but Stryker, in my opinion, he's a really funny character. Um, when MK11 first got out, um, we saw some tweets about him um, being voiced by John Cena. He even had the face of John Cena. I don't know if that was a tease, though, or if it was a leak. I don't know which one, but um, they said he would be back, but I mean, obviously that was not true. But maybe he could come back. And I really did like him in MK9. MKX, he's a resident, but hopefully he turns back. Then, number five, Onaga. Onaga, um, I never got to play with him. I think he's a really powerful and mighty character like Shao Kahn. And he is just a really, really awesome character that people would like to get their hands on. So, if someone were to bring Onaga back, Probably Ed Boon would. I don't know if he will, but I'd say he's one of the characters I'd want to come back to MK11. I don't really know his potential in MK11, really, but I'd like to see him come back if possible. And then my sixth and last character for Combat Pack 3 that I'd want back would be none other than the man himself and the most requested guest character of all. Ash Williams. Ash Williams um, had a partnership with um, Netherrealm and MK11, but unfortunately something went down. Mortal Kombat 11 couldn't really keep the rights with him, couldn't really pay exactly with him. He was going to come to Combat Pack 1, but then got replaced by Joker. Um, Ash Williams, in my opinion, um, I don't know much, much about him, but I think he'd be a great character to have as a guest, and with a chainsaw like Leatherface, I'd say he'd do a lot with that. He'd do tons of damage. And if Netherrealm brings him back, then I'm pretty sure that we'll get to know more about Ash Williams. I will get to know more about him, and then y'all know more about him as well. But anyway, guys, um, that is who I'd want back for Combat Pack 2 and Combat Pack 3. I hope y'all enjoyed this little um, discussion video about who I'd want back for Coming pack two and three for MK11. And as always, leave a like if y'all enjoyed this amazing video. Um, drop a comment on who you want back in MK11. And if you think these characters deserve another chance back in the MK spotlight, drop a comment saying that. 
And remember to subscribe, because a lot of stuff is going to come in the future to this channel. A lot more is coming. Well, it's coming at Man Sign Off. It's going to be a wonderful combat. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe, guys. Peace out.